Jack. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Uber Jacked, and today we're making this sound. That's right, we're making ravey Melbourne bounce leads. By the way, if you heard that fat little bass in the intro, you can get your hands on that on my monthly sample pack Uber Beats over on Patreon for five bucks a month. And unlike Uber Eats, these beats are delivered hot. Open up, dude. Oh, sweet, my Eats. Thanks, bro. Oh. If you can't be f***ed actually making this sound, I've gone and chucked the link to the preset in the description. So if you're a bit lazy, go scroll down, grab that while you're down there though. Give the video a like. All right, that's enough talking shit. Let's make some bangers. Right, okay, let's get into it. So we're using Silence today. What I'm gonna do to start off with is uh, we're going to turn off everything on the chain here. We're gonna get to that eventually, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way back from the actual preset uh, first. And so you guys can understand what's going on behind the synthesis of this sound here. So we're using Silence, really good uh, synth nice and warm sounding, really good for these like little uh, little leads like this. Okay, so this sound here, like when you're making these sounds, what I like to think about is trying to get it to sound like a little air horn. You know, like this sort of thing, almost like a little fart, like a it's got this sort of like little tone to it that's nice. We want, a, we want, a, we want a nice warm fart, not a wet sloppy one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way back here, starting off with uh, the first oscillator. We're using two oscillators on this synth, part A and part B. We've got volume, we've got that maxed out. Uh, we've got the phase, nothing, detune, stereo is maxed out, so we're nice and wide. Make sure you have re-trigger on, this is going to be important, especially when we're detuning and layering the sound. We've got a single voice, a saw wave, very simple stuff to start off with. The next... Oscillator we have, oscillator two here, we have a white noise. So basically you're just gonna go through here, turn the voices onto one, put it onto the wave, which is a white noise. And you can hear, uh, see how it just gives it this nice little fuzzy warmness. It takes a bit of the edge off of the saw wave. Once we've done that, part B is where we're gonna detune the synth. And here when I crank that up, we start to get more detune. I mean, you can do this to taste if you really wanna like really get nasty. You know, you crank that right up and you can get it sounding really, uh, really detuned. Um, these are the settings here. We got two voices to get a nice uh, unison going on and really uh, mess with those oscillators. Volume here is maxed out. The phase. That's, that's pushed up as well to 360 degrees. We've got the detune at 5.1. Important, make sure you get that pretty exact because that's uh, going to detune the synth by the correct amount. Stereo, nice and wide, and this guy, we're not using oscillator B. So we're going to move on to the filter section over here. Pretty standard stuff again. Okay, so cutoff. This is important as well. Make sure you get these values the same. I'm just going to scroll over them so you can just uh, you can copy them in. So the cutoff is really the main one. We've got to make sure we got this on a low pass filter here. Cutoff, make sure you set that to the right value. We've got 5.35 there. And the master filter, make sure you get this, uh, this guy on the right one. 7.77. And the key track there is 3.165. Okay, so basically now we've got the, the, the main sound here. So this here is the most important part. So this here is done over in this little bad boy down the bottom. We've got a modulation envelope on number two here set onto pitch. And all I want you to do, you're basically just going to go through and uh, you, just, you just copy these values. So we're going to set this over to pitch A at the attack. Going to set that to 1.3. Going to put the, uh, the decay onto 2.7 and also the plus minus, we're going to go negative 0.73. I can't stress that you need to be super accurate with this here. If there's one that you want to get exact, it's this guy. Because if you get it a little bit off, your, your synth is going to be out of tune. It's not going to sound right and you're going to wonder why you suck at sound design. So pay attention. Also notice that uh, this is only going on to pitch oscillator A, so the detune part of the synth isn't actually being pitch enveloped, and that's how you get that kind of phasey air horn-like thing going on at the start of the note. So, so LFO2, this one here is basically the final part on the synthesis 
part of designing this sound. We got the pan A, get those values in there, 5.3, onto the cutoff A. So basically this is just widening the synth and cutting it off like a, almost, this is basically a vibrato. It's exactly what's going on here. We're just adding some vibrato. You can add a little bit of flutter to the sound, make it sound a bit more natural, not so synthesized and stale and robotic. So get those values in there. We got a 1-4 triplet setting, gain at 4.33, and that's it. Boom. So now you should be having a sound that sounds something like this. Depending on how you play it, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down now and do the chain. So this stuff here is really uh, just to mix the sound so that it's actually going to sound good in a mix over a kick and a bass. I think by the, by itself sounding pretty good depending on how your track is balanced and what kind of genre you're producing. You know, you might do this differently, but for this kind of track where we've got a really fat bass that we need to have room for, nice thick sub. We're gonna hit it first with a little bit of EQ. Uh, we're gonna be hitting a couple key frequencies here. Low cutting, 150. We're gonna be boosting up the mids around 1K by about 4 dB. We're gonna be boosting up about 4K by roughly 6 dB and giving the highs a little bit of presence. This is basically just gonna like make the sound a little bit fatter, so. Now you can hear it's starting to get more in your face. It's not so not so weak. Next thing here, we got a little simple little EQ3. I love this one. It's really simple, but it's really just really good for just like boosting the sounds in a really balanced. Now it's really starting to hit you. We got the highs being boosted up there. That's pretty much all that's going on with this guy. So the next two, these kind of go together. We got the warmer, which is just a saturator. Feel free to experiment with your own saturator plugins. I just use this one because it's it's simple and it comes with Ableton, but you can use whatever you want. What we're trying to do here is we want to EQ before the, distor the distortion or saturation. This is to taste, depending on how distorted you like your sounds. This particular one, not too much. So we've got the dry wet down quite low. Now you can hear it's really like lots of mid range. This is gonna sit really nicely in a mix now over the top of a bass. It's not gonna get lost. And we're just boosting it up, you know, 2, 2K straight up by like 10 dB. So pretty crazy like EQs there. Auto filter right on the end. This kind of like this might seem a bit arbitrary. Like it's like, what the, why do you need this? But you can hear the difference. If you're on some good speakers and you're not listening to shitty quality, what that's going to do is it's just like giving a little bit of extra highs to the sound. It's really subtle, but I found that it sounded better with it on, so I left it on. And that's pretty much it, guys. You've got it down here. For those of you who want to see the processing on the bass because you've hung around and you're actually like checking out the whole tutorial, we're going to quickly go over that. We got this guy here, this bad little fat kick chunky. That one is straight out of the Uber Beats 23. We got the fatty kick there. We got two layers to the bass. Real simple stuff here, but uh, simple works. So that's the low sub providing the weight of the bass. We're going to really just like get rid of any of the shitty frequencies on top, cutting that stuff off real low, 270 hertz, real sharp cut. And then we got the character bass. That's gonna make it pop through the mix. You're gonna hear that on your laptop speakers. You're gonna hear that and you're gonna feel that in the club. That's 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 the real bass that you want. Um, and we're just using an EQ3, taking out all of the sub there. Using the EQ3, I really like this when I'm layering basses. You can play around with the phase, it's really good. Experiment with that. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of extra enveloping with this here. We got thermal. Pretty much just on the default setting, but what I've gone through here and made this like little modulation uh, to the bass, which you can hear. I'll turn it on and off so you can hear the difference. See how it gives it that little flick, that little wonk, 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 little yoinky little sound there. And all that's doing there, we're just on a filter. Filter with the modulation one, stepping on this guy, if it will open for me, there we go. Boom, and you can see this here, cutoff is being automated to this curve. 
that's it, guys. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to support me, you can go and support me on Patreon or, you know, check out my music. I make music. You can check that out on Spotify. Um, if you like the tune, you know, that's cool. Maybe if you like it, let me know in the comments and we can finish it off and uh, maybe it'll be a release. I don't know. I just made this thing for you guys to show you how to make these Melbourne Bounce ravey leads. And uh, hopefully this was like a really useful tutorial. Um, if you want, go and download that uh, preset. It's in the description. That's it. Enjoy, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Super Jack, make a bass drum go like...